Tracy, earlier today we saw divers in the creek here and on the boats. There were two canines that can detect human remains both on the water and on the banks and the search turned up nothing. It has, as you said, been just about 72 hours since little Lanasia Brooker slipped into that swollen creek and disappeared. With divers from Delaware County and canines trained to detect human remains, emergency crews continued looking for six-year-old Lanasia Brooker in the Chester Creek. Authorities and families say she fell in early Saturday evening after she had been playing with cousins at a park that borders the banks of the creek. At this time, we've exhausted every method we have to search for her, and unfortunately, we have not been able to locate her. Will you end the search? We are going to be ending the search. The divers spent Tuesday afternoon underwater, not far from where the young girl entered the creek. The nonprofit Pennsylvania Wilderness Search and Rescue, which is run by volunteers, supplied the canines. At one point, it seemed as though at least one of your dogs may have detected something on the water, and that prompted officials to send the divers in. I won't comment on that. Um, we had an entire area here that we wanted to focus on. I, I know some of the, some of the families. My, my prayers go out to them. Neighbors stop to watch the divers go to work in the murky water. I feel for the pain. I feel for the. I, I know how they feel. I, I feel for the pants. I'll be going I'm crazy. I'll be going crazy. I know I'll be going through it. I'll be going crazy. And that's my little girl. I'm a parent, and I couldn't imagine um, going through what the family is going through right now. Um, I've been in contact with them every day. Um, and I'm trying to encourage them to be strong. Family members believe Lanasia Brooker may have accessed the water through a gap in the fence seen here on Sunday surrounding the playground. It is now repaired. Fire officials warn the creek can be unpredictable. Swift moving water is dangerous and uh, it's not to be underestimated. And that goes for adults and children. Remember, this all started as a search and rescue operation Saturday evening with the Coast Guard being involved, and then it did shift to a recovery effort that has now stopped. In addition today to the canines from the nonprofit group and the divers from Delaware County, Delaware State Police, they were helping out on the Delaware River, but again, nothing. I did reach out to Lanasia Brooker's father, but did not hear back. I did talk to a cousin briefly. She tells me she's heartbroken. Reporting live from Chester, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.